Hey, hey, how's everyone doing? Thanks for tuning in. Um, there was a lot of requests for this video, so I'm going to go through both my belts and I'm gonna describe um, what the process was and who I used. Um, what you see here is the first custom Maple Leaf belt that I made. You can see a better view of that. Um, when I was designing this belt, um, I didn't really have anything particular in mind. And I was just uh, so excited to be working on a project like this that I wanted to kind of get every logo, every Toronto Maple Leaf logo ever on sort of like this design. So as you can see on the main plate here, um, I got the same pads, um, all the logos from pretty much day one till now <clears throat> on the main plate and once the the maple leafs finalized their new main logo i made that to be the primary and i put all the rest there um it's made by undisputed belts if you look over here you can see the stamp undisputed belts so this one was a little bit cheaper than the second belt that i made um as you can see, the plates are a little bit thinner and <clears throat> these are etched on. These images are etched onto the metal here. They're not really carved in like they would be on a real belt if you buy like real replicas. They're two millimeter or four millimeter plates made out of zinc. And this is not necessarily that. So um, what I also ended up doing with this one was I added some logos and timelines as to when the Leafs use these logos on the side plates. These, I just chose the four logos that I like the most. And the leather is real American leather. Um, on this one, you can see the screws. Um, on the second one, I haven't seen it yet, but you're not supposed to see the screws on the second one. It's more of like a real replica. So. The, the leather here is pretty good. Um, it's pretty flappy. Um, the American leather they use here is really good. They painted it blue inside and out. Um, for my first project, I was very excited to have this. Um, I got a lot of love on Twitter and um, Facebook for this. And pretty much once I was done this, it gave me um, it gave me the idea of how I wanted to design the second one. So, <clears throat> without further ado, um, I'm gonna unbox the second one here. I already cut the sides off here, opened it. So we're all gonna get to enjoy the first view to get. nicely wrapped. I'm gonna try this, pull this out without Revealing it to myself. That's the second one here. So, here we go. <clears throat> I chose the white back with the blue front on this one. And as you can already see, that the screws are hidden on this one. So it's more of like an exact replica. And the plates are four millimeter plates on this one. So super excited right now. Here we go. Oh my God, look at the way that looks. All I'm doing is just looking at the screen on my phone, but wow. This is, this is very heavy. This has got to weigh at least eight to 10 pounds. 
but I'll give you guys a closer look. So this is a, a dual painted, it's silver and gold. And I decided to do the banners black with the gold writing and to have the Maple Leaf logo painted to as close as possible. And they, it looks like they did a very good job. The etching, um, the, the, the way they carved these plates, um, the detail looks phenomenal. The leaf and the veins and everything looks very good. Um, I added some jewels here. I wanted to make it differ different than the rest of the belt. I didn't want to have it blue or anything like that. So red was the color that I decided. And as you can see, there's some detail here that they did a very good job on. It's dual colored as well. And very similar to the first belt, I have the side plates with the logos that I like. So as you can see, these plates are a little bit thicker, very heavy. The leather is, so there's one leather for the front, and then once they put the screws, they put another piece of backing on top of here, which is a different color. It's got the, um, the, the real fasteners that they would use at WWE shop. And the detail here is really good, like the, how the St. Pat's logo is green over here. And the different logos and how they're designed and etched. They did a very good job. The Arena's logo, especially because how they've etched out Arena and the T, they've painted it blue inside, and it all has gold around the writing, which is, which is the touch because there's silver around it and then there's gold again. So the detail is actually, so um, they've painted the leather really, really well, front and back. Um, I see a couple of spots where it's not really, you know, perfection, but but it's not too bad. Um, they've sealed it off pretty good. I let me try the snaps and see how they fit here. True test of a replica belt is how well it snaps together. So we'll see. Wow, that was, uh, that was pretty good. That snapped together really well. I'm very surprised. Um, sometimes you get, I have uh, a lot of belts from WWE shop and sometimes when you snap them together and you do the test, sometimes they come apart. So I'm actually, um, I'm very happy with the size. Um, based on the design that I created. I wanted it to be uh, a decent size. I, I like the uh, old school IC WWE belt, so I wanted it to be a little bit bigger than that. So if you look at it in proportion to me, when I have it over my shoulder or when it goes across the waist, it's a perfect proportion. Um, <clears throat> I really can't complain. This thing is gorgeous. And uh, it's going in the belt case for sure. I cannot complain. So please subscribe, message below. Let me know how you like, what you like and what you don't like about it. If there's a lot of belt makers out there who can give me tips maybe on the next one. Uh, I'd love to hear your suggestions, your ideas of what you would have designed, designed differently. Or... Um, Maybe ideas for a third belt. Um, this, I've, I've really enjoyed the process of the first two, so you never know. I might be crazy enough next year to do another one. So please let me know your thoughts, okay? Thank you for watching.